Yo, what's good? What's good? Welcome to the Epic Entertainment Critics. I am Antoine. So, Power is back on, and I'm going to continue doing my recaps and my reviews on every episode. This episode uh, 11, season, this season 6, episode 11. But before I do my review, I got an intro. All right, I'm back. So, uh, Power, episode 11, season six. Um, it's called Steal Dre. So, this was all about Dre. This episode was all about Dre. And they, they kind of made it seem like they was going to do this big investigation on this episode, and it really wasn't. It was all, it's, so the way they formatting these, these last five episodes, it's gonna be the day leading up to <clears throat> leading up to when Ghost got shot. The day leading up to when Ghost got shot, and um, and from everybody's point of view. So uh, the first episode is from Dre's point of view. What was going on with him uh, when Ghost got shot? <clears throat> and then at the end of the episode, they're pretty much gonna let you know this person did this person shoot Ghost or not. So you will find out what's going to happen uh, at the end of the Which you can do a process of elimination when they get to that last episode. Whoever point of view that is, probably is the person. <laughs> so we don't know. Everybody was there. Everybody doing like a little mystery who done it. Who shot JR scenario? That's what they doing. If anybody don't know what that is, that's from, um, that's from the old TV show Dynasty. JR was like the the main honcho on the show, and um, <clears throat> it was about a, like a family business of all tycoon. He was an all tycoon, and he had like a bunch of greedy relatives that was trying to get his money, so it was a lot of backstabbing or whatever, and somebody shot him, and we don't know who shot him, so they did a big old thing on who shot JR. So this is the same scenario. <clears throat> and... Um, and so, you know, it's that's kind of interesting. That's, that's kind of cool because... I didn't need to see no more of uh because this season the the writing been kind of all over the place and if they if they keep on taking these characters in all these different directions and having them do stuff out of character and and all that I'd be like man you had me now you're kind of losing me so that's fine I'd rather see you know this one uh uh this last episode I mean the last episodes be no not moving forward this is all replaying that day from different point of view so that's cool so this is Dre's point of view, and Dre is, as people call him, bitch ass Dre. <laughs> Dre is a, is a very unlikable character. Um, he he's selfish. He he'll screw over anybody. He'll snitch on anybody, and for somehow <clears throat> he's still alive. Now this is the thing. I think they've been purposely making him unlikable, um, unlikable. They've been they've been trying to get you to hate him, want him dead. That's kind of like how they've been setting him up, but it just don't make sense for all the characters in the in the show not to take action. <clears throat> like he should have been out of there from I forget what what season that was from when he decided to <laughs> call anyway. So when he decided to. When he decided to snitch on the Lobos, I think that was Lobos. No, no. When he decided to snitch on whatever cartel he was getting his drugs from, <clears throat> he was done there. He was done from there. You can't come back after you do that. So he went in the witness protection program, <clears throat> left that, came back right back in where he was. You can't, that's not gonna happen. Once you once you done, you done. Especially, you know, in the in the criminal, in the cr criminal underworld and they circuit and they uh circle once you leave that circle and snitch on one of them you can't come back that's the rules that's kind of like you know the rules of you know it's 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 it's, 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 it's rules to that and once you break that rule you can't come back you can't all right well i'm gonna be the and this this fool this fool 
I'm going to be the biggest drug dealer in New York. What are you talking about, bro? <laughs> you lucky that you are. I, it, 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 I don't know if he was not thinking straight or just. So, okay, so he's with his girl. <clears throat> and she like, look, let's just leave. We ain't got nothing else here. <clears throat> you lucky you're alive. We, you, you didn't escape the cops so many times. You didn't escape criminals so many times. You lucky you're alive. I got a, uh, my sister got a crib in Las Vegas. We can stay with her till we get on our feet. Let's just leave. And he's like, what? No, I'm good. I'm going to be the biggest drug dealer in New York. What? <laughs> Dude, all the stuff he didn't did, and you still alive, and you still got your girl and daughter, leave while you got your life. I don't see why he, what is he talking about? He thought he was going to be the, so this was the events of what happened with, because um, he tried to set up a deal with Jason, and that was, uh, <clears throat> that was the connect that Ghost, the, well, Ghost didn't want it, but there was a guy who was giving all the drugs to all the, uh, to all the uh, major people, major drug dealers in the city. So he basically had, the, the, he was a supplier. And he was he needed a distro, so um, a distribution guy. So Dre was trying to be his distro. So Dre thought that he was going to uh, get rid of Ghost. And now he's like, okay, now I'm going to be his distro. So now I'm going to be the biggest drug dealer in New York. That's what he was thinking. That's why he told his girl that. And this was before he went, met up with Jason and found out you know, Ghost set him up to uh, take the fall for Jason murder and all that. So, you know, he's telling his girl, yeah, I got a plan. I'm going to make all this money. So, the, you know, the, the, the events of the day unfold. He tried to meet with Jason, and he fucking find out he's dead. He gets set up by the cops. So now <laughs> so now he's uh, on the run, and now he's like, okay, I'm going to leave, but I need some money. So this is the parts where he's coming to everybody trying to shake him down for money. <laughs> <laughs> this dude is so whack. Like, he ain't got no leverage on people and shit. You know, first he go to Tasha. Like, yeah, no, 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 no. First he go to his mama. <laughs> first he go to his mama. And, like, um, you know, uh, so, hey, mama, uh, you know, uh, sorry I ain't talked to you in about you know, 10 years, but uh, I need some money. <laughs> you know, they did a, yeah, I mean, the lady who played his mom was okay. I mean, she was laying it on a little thick. Um, <clears throat> they made her like a crazy church lady. Uh, you a demon. You always been a bad seed, you know, all that stuff. So, you know, mama, you you never believed in me, all that bullshit. <laughs> I'm like, man, just stop. Just stop. Um, it's a little too late to bring in that character and try to make us feel something about her. Like, they should have had uh, brought her in sooner. Um just to give a, a little dynamic of their relationship. But they tried to give us something that they should have built up, like, right away. So I wasn't feeling it with his mama. But she said, no, get the hell out of my face, and rightfully so. <laughs> and then he tried to go to Tasha, and she, you know, she like, nigga, I ain't got no money. <laughs> like, I, I need 50 grand. Like, I ain't got no 50 grand. <laughs> you get your ass off. And, you know, he's like, oh, I need 50 grand. I'm going to tell the cops that uh, Tariq's selling drugs. Which, okay, you can sell the cops that, but you ain't got no proof. <laughs> so it don't matter, dude. It's like, you have no leverage for real. Uh, oh, he's selling drugs. Well, just because you say he's selling drugs, we can't wrestle. We need proof. Um, that I mean, that, I, that was just like an empty threat. But, I mean, you know, they was like, all right, well, I see. And so he's like, yeah, I can't. I, 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 uh, I fronted your son some drugs. I need my money or whatever. So Tariq, so from there, Tariq comes see him and was like, hey, here go half of the money I owe you. So where the rest? You know, I'll I give it to you next week. Like, man, he kind of, I, I guess Drake thinking, like, I ain't, ain't going to be here next week. I need that shit now. But, I mean, come on, dog. You're trying to shake down a teenager. <laughs> you're trying to get, you trying to shake down a teenager and get what, whatever, he, like 30, 50 grand. I guess he had, like, 10 grand or something. He's like, no, it's, it's cool, but I need some more. Like, I mean, where, where the fuck you expect a 15-year-old to get that money from, man? You, you, the dude was a clown. It's a straight-up clown. Um, So he's like, yeah, I need a... <clears throat> so they kind of set a little bit up with Tyreek, like, I need an untraceable gun. Like, why he need this gun? Oh, boy. 
So we don't know. So he, I guess he get him a gun, and they and they move forward from there. So then he goes see uh, who else he try to get some money from. I guess he go to he go to uh, Rashard Tate. He go to Rashard Tate and try to get some money from him. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna trade some information for you. I give you some information about you know James St. Patrick for some money. He's like, eh, well, that shit ain't worth that much money. <laughs> but I tell you what, I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you some money. I'm gonna give you, uh, uh, I give you some money. I give you a hundred k to take out James St. Patrick. Hundred k. He like, uh, first he like, no, nah, well, let me get the money up front. He's like, man, <clears throat> he like, <laughs> <"Nigga>, you, what? <laughs> he like, no, nah, bro, it don't work like that. Um, you know, because he needed new IDs because he was one of the uh, lead town. New IDs and new identity with him and his girl or whatever. And he's like, yeah, i get that for you, and, and I need you to kill James St. Patrick. Um, so they made that clear that Rashad won him. Well, we know Rashad won him dead, but um, he actually went. He actually made a move to, to get him gone. So, <clears throat> so he go out there. I mean, he, uh, he agreed to it. And um, he gave him the money. So he gave him all the money up front. He was like, because, you know, I got your IDs or whatnot. And I'm thinking, like, I, just, I still don't trust him. And, you know, his girl's like, we got the money. Let's just go. You know, it's like, you ain't got to kill nobody. Let's just go. And he's like, uh, <clears throat> he like, no, man, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it. The one time Dre actually do what he say he going to do was get him caught up. And I'm going to get to that in a second. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this dude. This dude is so whack. I hate. This, I hate this character. I mean, he just lame. I, he's never. He never was cool. He never was smart. They just. Uh, so anyway, he goes to the club to take Ghost out. He get there. You heard a shot. So it wasn't him. So now we know it was not Dre. Somebody else made the shot. Somebody else took the shot before Dre could get there. So we know it wasn't Dre. <clears throat> Dre run out, run into what's her name, which is kind of weird. He run right into uh, uh, Blanca Rodriguez, and she like Dre. He just <laughs> bop, <laughs> then run off. Like okay, um, I don't know why she was coming in at that time, right when he running out. I don't. I'm not really sure what's going on, but so. He, you know, he run out. He uh, uh, run into her. He, he gets away. Him and his girl, like, hey, let's go out. To, let's go. Shit done. Nothing I can do. We got the money. Let's go. Which the, this is, next part don't really make sense. Um, he's, you know, at a gas station uh, on his way out. Put some gas. About to gas up the car. About to hit the highway. About to go to Vegas. And his uh. And he just got he just got uh, sworn on by the cops. I'm thinking like, how did they know where he was at? Like they they didn't give us no clue on how they knew where he was at. Now <clears throat> they might go back and show when it's from Blanca' um, point of view, she might have seen him go in there and put something on his car or something. That's my guess. Like maybe maybe they put a little something on his car because they was like, we want to keep tabs on him. We don't want him to. Uh, we won't let him do what he's going to do, but we don't want him to get away or whatever. I mean, that's the only thing I can guess because there's no way they would have known because they had to be alerted to him, but no, he wasn't, like, wanted. Like, he wasn't, his face wasn't on the news or nothing, you know? So it ain't like somebody called, like, oh, shit, I recognize that guy, you know? So, I mean, I'm guessing when Blanca got punched, they, she got his license plates and maybe they uh, found it somehow. But anyway, they found him, <clears throat> and I'm I'm hoping from when they show from somebody else's point of view, they're gonna show how they got him. So he go to jail, and I kind of uh, uh, I missed a little part because I forgot. Two bits of Spanky had a big role in this episode, and you know when they when they was talking to uh, Ghost had told them, "Hey, take out Dre for me, and I pay I pay you. I take care of your families." You know they like I right, bet. So the whole time they trying to take out Dre in jail. But he got out because he agreed to snitch on ghosts. Which I'm like, okay, how the fuck is he walking the streets? So they kind of they kind of explain that because he he agreed to snitch. They supposed to take him to a safe house. Now he's in police custody, uh, in protective custody, 
and he ran from them. Why he run for them, I don't know. Like, he screw up every chance he get. Every chance he get, he screw it up. You could have just stayed in protective custody, dude. <laughs> you could have, they would have got your family, and y'all could have went in protective custody. Uh, and that's the thing about the show. The law enforcement is so sloppy. Every time Blanca get a witness and she had them sign something, they end up dead. Every time. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way you could be that incompetent. Um, you agree to snitch on somebody. You sign this paper. Okay, I'm going to come back and pick you up later. Get your stuff. No, you got to leave with us now because your life is in danger. Once you sign that paper, your life is in danger. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, Spanky and Two Bits get to him in jail. And this is the, f I don't know if it's funny. It's not funny, but it's funny how it looked. <laughs> so, I mean, they couldn't get to him because they kept on trying to, uh, you know, get to him to shank him, like old-fashioned prison shanking. Um, they couldn't get to him that way. So what they did was they put him, he got himself locked in solitary confinement. So he's like, started picking fights with people. So he picked the, the toughest looking dude and he grabbed his food and threw it on his head. You know how that's going to go. <laughs> you you, you going to get your ass whooped. If you lucky, if you get your ass whooped, actually. Uh, so at the dude beat the shit out of him, he had a fight. They put him in solitary confinement, which was actually a smart idea. So that way he ain't got to worry about. So you know, Spanky Two Bits, they paid the guard off. They did something that was kind of fucked up. They, I guess they took some lighter fluid and took took like tiles and threw it in the in the uh, in the cell and and just like lit that mug on fire. It's like God damn. <laughs> You know, you know he doing, you know he doing his usual begging. You know, I got a daughter, man. I got a daughter, and I, I was hoping they use this line, uh, and she'd be better off without your ass, cause all you do is fuck up. But you know, everybody's like, you know, he's like, we don't give a damn. You know, so they burnt him up, and that's the way Dre ended. Dre got killed by fire, and <laughs> and I didn't even feel good about that. You know, I guess they were trying to set it up that you hate Dre so much. That you'll be like, he finally gonna get his. I'll be glad when he get his. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't feel, I felt bad for him, especially dying like that. But it looked so fake. They had like some CGI fire, and he just like, ah, like he's screaming with the CGI fire. It just, just it looked fake. <laughs> it's like, man, I know you ain't gonna, I wouldn't wanna use real fire. I, I feel him on that, but they get a little too ambitious when they do stuff like that. Um, they using that. We didn't have to do that. He could have got shot. He could have got you know whatever, but getting burned alive, I, I, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, they tried that with a uh, Fifty Cent. He he survived. <laughs> How I don't know. And I'm thinking like, what if he come back just burnt up? Like oh, uh, they put he got the fire. We got to him in time, and 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 he didn't die yet. He just he just burned real bad. <laughs> uh, nah, nah, he gone. <laughs> So Dre is gone. That is suspect number one eliminated. So we still got quite a few. We got uh, Tommy, uh, Cooper Sacks, Tasha, LaShawn Tate, and Tariq. Oh, and Paz. <clears throat> so we got all of them. And considering, considering LaShawn Tate paid 100000 to have Ghost killed. I don't think he's going to do it himself. I mean, wh why would you spend that if you're going to do it yourself? Um, you know, I don't think Tommy did it. I don't think Cooper Sacks did it. I don't think none of them. I think it's got to be either Paz or somebody that we just ain't going to suspect. But that's my problem. When they finally do the reveal, it's going to be kind of corny. Unless it's – if because it, it would be somebody that you, we just didn't even know was out there. And somebody just out of nowhere, like, who the fuck is this? You know, it's got to be somebody who means something to the audience for us not to be pissed when it happens, when they do the reveal. That's the only, that's the only way they can do that. And uh, I'm not be mad. But, I mean, I guess Paz is the, it's the, it's uh, Angela's sister. Paz is the only credible person I can see who actually could do it. Uh, I don't think nobody, I don't see nobody else doing it besides her. Anybody else that did they have anybody else do it? I think that'd be stupid. You know Tasha didn't do it. She ain't gonna kill. <laughs> you know Tasha Tariq didn't do it. 
Uh, I just don't feel like Tommy would do it. I mean, we know Tommy a psycho, but that's the only person he never could do is Ghost. And I don't see any reason. He didn't have no real for real reason to. <laughs> Cooper Sacks is a coward. He wouldn't even have the balls to do it. Um, <clears throat> you know, Rashard Tate, like I said, he already paid somebody else. Why would he do that if, if he paid somebody else? So only person I can see is Paz, and then they might throw out another character that we – just totally forgot about, but I think that's going to be corny. So we'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this recap review. Uh, it was it was a cool little episode. Uh, and by the way, they also said James St. Patrick was murdered, not just shot. I thought they was going to leave it as shot so we don't know if he did. They said on the news he's been murdered. Like, oh, he's dead. Oh, well, that ain't cool. You know? Um, I thought he was just going to be shot. We'll see, though. We'll see. Uh, they might change that. <clears throat> and maybe from his point of view, he heard murder, but he was actually said shot. I don't know. So we'll see. <clears throat> we'll see. I uh, apologize, man. My voice was kind of hoarse. <clears throat> um, so thanks for checking out the video, man. Give me some thumbs up if you like it. And uh, sure, sure. Um, if you uh, think this video is interesting, and subscribe to the channel. Um, I will appreciate any subscriptions I can get. And I appreciate anybody checking out the video. So, all right now, I am out of here. Peace.